Alright guys, um, I just got in from a long day of work and I'm still wearing my work clothes and, but anyway, I decided, stay here, I decided I wanted to, um, just go fast on my quad, um, just cause I put some Marvel Mystery Oil in the fuel, cause it just didn't want to idle totally correctly, so I poured a bunch of that in, or a little bit of that in there, and it seems to work. Sorry, I'm recording from my laptop. <laughs> but, um, anyway, <coughs> so I decided I wanted to go fast, just have high RPMs, and, you know, just to have everything moving and clearing up the system. I mean, the higher the RPMs, that's why lawn equipment runs so good for so long is because they're always run at full throttle and everything stays clean if everything's moving so fast. But the problem with lawn equipment is they're immediately run at full throttle and you score the you score the piston and score the rings, but that's not my point. I wanted to go fast because I wanted to clear it all up, so I started going fast. And I wouldn't say it's a creek, but like somewhat of valley there's pills on both sides and a small six inch creek does run down it in heavy rain but um anyway I went really fast down that I was in fourth gear going down and I hit fifth gear and I um just gave it full throttle to help pick up speed faster and uh, the throttle stuck wide open. That's why I like dual cable setup, but this ATV only had a single cable setup. Let me see if I can convert it to dual cable, but anyway. I, um, yeah, it stuck open, and I knew there were a few rocks at the end of the road, so, um, since I was already on the machine, I decided to stay on the machine and try to fix the problem going a thousand miles an hour. I don't know why I didn't think to hit the kill switch. I mean, that should have been the first thing I did right when it started sticking. Should have been the first thing I did was turned off the key, but I guess I didn't. I have no idea why I didn't. But anyway, <clears throat> it locked. It was frozen open, and I saw the big rocks. I mean, Rocks are like two foot round rocks. I mean, no way I would go, I could drive over them. I mean, mm, you know, yeah, no way I could drive over them. If you hit them going that fast, the front end of your quad's screwed. So, um, anyway, I always went real slow and in between the rocks. But anyway, I finally got it, um, I finally pulled back the throttle enough, sorry, I hit my laptop, I finally pulled back the throttle enough to unlock, like to unseize it, I guess you'd say, I just grabbed it and pulled as hard as I can back, and I locked the brakes up, and the quad started skipping sideways, so I turned the wheel and it started skipping like that going forward, I think, laptop, stay still, but anyway, I mean, Let's start it where it started skipping. I locked both brakes, the front end, the back, and I have my foot on the back brake too, along with my left hand. And um <coughs> it kinda the front wheels stayed going straight, but the back wheels kinda went past the front wheels, I guess you'd say. So I turned the wheel and gotten it got it straightened out and it went did the same thing on the other side, just skipping along. And by that time, I was going about 20 miles an hour sideways in the sand. So, um, as soon as I got it straightened out, it just slammed right into one of the rocks. And I just about went over the handlebars. I mean, um, if I didn't put my hands out, I would have smacked my head on the very front, not the top, but the very front of the rack. So, crap, my screensaver went on. Hang on. I hate the screensaver phone. But anyway, 
Um, if I wasn't, if I was going any faster, I probably would have. Um, I, I know I would have. Of uh, tumbled off of the ATV, and depending on if I didn't, if and if I didn't get the throttle unlocked, then it would have kind of buzzed its way sideways and over the rocks somehow and probably ran me over, but I don't know, that's worst case scenario, but um I wouldn't say I almost died there because, I mean, it'd be pretty hard to kill yourself unless you landed head first and cracked your neck or something, but I mean, in the worst case scenario, I probably could have died, but Best case scenario then would be if I unlocked the throttle and I didn't just lock up the brakes. I panicked and I locked up the brakes. If I gently hit the brakes, I would have been able to steer in between the rocks. They were going like 40 miles an hour, but whatever. Um, I wasn't wearing a helmet at the time. That was another stupid thing I did. I mean, I've always worn a helmet if I was going, if I knew I was going to go fast, I always wear a helmet, but... I, for some reason, decided I didn't need a helmet, so, anyway, I just wanted to talk to you guys about that, and always wear a helmet, always be safe, um, if you do feel like you want to go fast, make sure it's, like, out in the middle of nowhere, where you know there's nothing you can run into besides a bush, because, um, I mean, even, like, before my dirt bike was stolen, um, it was a little Yamaha TTR 110, uh, just 110 cc's, not very big, but, um, I had all my gear on, and I was going top speed, fourth gear, um, not top speed, but three quarter throttle and fourth gear, I guess, and I hit a gopher hole, and that kind of wobbled my steering, and it was actually so strong I couldn't hold the wheel straight and I was a pretty strong kid at that time I think I was 10 and I was a pretty strong kid for my age and I couldn't hold the handlebar straight the wheel just kept wobbling like that as I hit the the gopher hole in fourth gear three-quarter throttle because it's only a four-speed bike and um, anyway I started getting worse and worse, and I was holding on for dear life, trying to hold the thing straight, and then it, crap, frickin' screensaver, alright, we're back, um, I just had to move my mouse pad, but, um, anyway, it got so bad where it went to the side just enough, the dirt just locked it up sideways, like, not 45 degrees, but like 65 degrees is how much the wheel turned, I think. I'm only guessing the last time I seen it was four years ago. But, um, anyway. Or three years ago, yeah. But anyway. Um. And, of course, I flat just landed on my back, flat knocked the wind out of me. And the worst part was the closest person around me was about half a mile away, so, and even if I did yell, they probably wouldn't hear, hear me for half a mile, and, um, anyway, I just was laying there trying to catch my breath. As soon as I catch my breath, I flip my bike up, which for some reason is still, is still, um, still running. I don't know why I didn't hit the kill switch when, um, I don't know why I didn't hit the kill switch when I fell off of it, I, I made a habit of always, if I feel like I'm gonna fall, I hit the kill switch, so it's not running when it's sideways, but anyway, um, I'm talking way too long in this video, but I just wanted to talk about a couple of my wrecks, um, both times I wouldn't hurt, I mean, the only time I've ever gotten hurt Actually, I've gotten hurt on both an ATV and a motorcycle. On a dirt bike, I just, I fell off and I was just aching for a few days. But, um, not nothing bad, but 
I was riding my friend's Recon 250, and I got a little bit speed freaky, and I hit a tree root that, like, is literally grown like that off of the ground, and I just, that was just enough. I hit that tree root, I lost control, and it, it, um, hit like a bank where I was going on the lower end, and the bank, like, went up at about that, gently raising, not, not really gently, like, literally like that, but it just whoosh. And I would normally play on that I, in, like, second gear, jumping just to see how high I could get. It was about three foot high, I guess, but I lost control, and the quad was going towards that direction. I jumped probably eight feet off the ground. Uh, maybe six feet, but I'm pre it was pretty high either way. It's definitely over four foot. Dang, screensaver! Okay, we're back. Um, <clears throat> and then, when I landed, the quad bounced again to about two feet off the ground, and it was kind of sideways. As soon as it hit sideways, it flipped, and I was on the ground, and I kicked it back over, which was probably the stupidest thing I did. I kicked it back over while I was on the ground, because it was my friend's quad. I didn't want it to run while it was sideways and possibly damage the engine, if it wasn't already damaged enough from what I'd done to it. And it started, uh, this was facing downhill, and it started rolling downhill. It was already in fifth gear, so there's no resistance from the engine. And, um... I was running after it, and um, I didn't see the T-post and barbed wire fence down there. The quad uh, hit the T-post and luckily didn't hurt it, and I just smacked right into the back of the rack there. Uh, hurt my stomach pretty bad because I was running, I was sprinting as fast as I can. The quad just hit the T-post, and I hit the back of the quad and oh man my stomach hurt pretty bad oh and I um sprang my ankle so yeah um, I guess I've been talking long enough I just wanted to share a couple of the stories I have had and um I'm sure I mean I'm gonna be 14 in May and I'm sure I'm forgetting something I mean I've got a whole bunch of s stories where a few I've almost died but most of them are, I just got hurt pretty bad. But, um, anyway, um, remember, this is all before I even had a YouTube account. I've only had a YouTube account for eight months, I guess. Well, I'll figure it out. But, um, anyway, so, yeah, um, I just wanted to talk about that and make sure, I mean, I almost never wear a helmet because I almost never ride fast. I'm always just riding around the ranch no more than third gear. I mean, if you're going any more than third gear around the ranch, then you're scaring the horses and having them buck your mom off and have your mom have another hospital pill bill to pay that you caused. Well, not another one that you caused, but actually if you're me, then that's true. But um, anyway... <laughs> Yeah, I've been talking long enough, so see you guys later. Um, I'm probably going to do another video similar to this um, about all the times that I've almost died. I've only died a couple times. Yeah, I'm still alive after I died. But anyway, um, whatever. Alrighty, see you guys later. Why did...